Hey guys, it's Shelby. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing an empties video for you. Um, this is all of my empties for May and part of April, so since my last empties video, as always, I have all my empties in my bag. And it is not, um, everything's at random. We will start with makeup wipes. I actually just finished these yesterday. Actually, so these are not done yet, um, but they pretty much are. I didn't finish them, but they are done. Um, Shelby was being not smart. And, oh, by the way, so these are the appeal. Um, collagen and vitamin cleansing tissues. There's 30 in here. And these are by the same brand of the ones I talked about last empties video. They are from Big Lots. I love them. They're always super, super, super wet. I never have a problem with them drying out on me. Until one day, I only have like three left. So it's not an issue. These are only a dollar, but I put these back in my drawer and I lost the little cover sticky. So they were sitting in my drawer like this for like a week. And then I finally found the sticky and then I, I was like, okay, well hopefully they're not bad. And then I went to go use one yesterday to take off my makeup and they're completely dry. Like it felt like I was rubbing my face against the driest thing ever, like piece of sandpaper. My skin's already dry, so it's like, no bueno. So, anyway, long story short, these dried out on me. It was my fault. It wasn't their fault. I'm pretty sure if I'd kept the sticker, then it they would have been fine, but I lost the sticker in my drawer. So, there's that. More makeup remover wipes. These are the Equate Beauty um, makeup remover wipes. There's 40 in here. These are the ones from um, Walmart that are supposed to be like the Neutrogena ones. I hated these. I'm going to be straight up, guys. I hated these. I honestly, I got them a long time ago, and I've had them sitting in my collection because I remember trying them one time and then not liking them and then I had a lot of other ones to go through so I went through the other ones instead of going through these and these were the only ones that I had so I was kind of forced to go through them. Um, I have very sensitive skin so pretty much everything hurts my skin. These were okay on the face so like if I need to do it again on my face, I would use these or like for swatches, but I could not stick these anywhere close to my eyes. If I tried to, it was like burn. I, it, the game, no, it was done. It was done. I was crying. It was super painful. So overall, like I said, I was able to use these on my face and for swatches, but Nowhere close to my eyes. The next thing is a mask. This is the Sephora Lotus face mask. And I have a lot of these like paper face masks. And I'm realizing I actually really do not like them. Um, but I have a lot of them. So I'm going to get through them. And then I probably won't buy them again. I just, I have anxiety. So I feel like. I hate being stuck in something and especially my face so like putting this on my face and being stuck inside of something that's like stuck on my face that doesn't fit my face correctly blah 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 just doesn't feel very good also with this only being one I wasn't really couldn't really tell for sure if it was doing it very much for my skin but I think for that next day if I remember correctly my skin did feel good and moisturized when I woke up in the morning so if anything there's that the next thing is my Bath and Body Works lotion this is in mahogany teak wood I love these things I have a huge back stock of these lotions and pretty much everything from Bath and Body Works I love them I, I can't complain this one is most people know this, but it's very manly scented. Yeah, I really, really liked this. I think this is the second time I repurchased this. I also have a candle that matches this. 
and a spray, I believe. I'm not sure, but the lotion was good. I would repurchase it, um, but I think in the winter months when I used to this, this regular lotion was not enough for this was not enough for my body. So I started using my body butters instead, but this was nice to have at least one layer on me when I first got out of the shower. This is by Earth Science and it's really gross because I had it a really long time. Um, this is their Apricot Intensive Night Cream and I bought this on Amazon. I'd never heard of the brand or anything, but I really needed an eye cream that was going to help me and I thought why not try it. So I tried it. It was nice while it lasted, but I think I, I kept it for too long um, because it started to burn my skin the last couple times using it. So I think that it just means that it's done and it wants to be done. So I do wish that it was in a different form, like a pump. I hate having to stick my hands in these little pots. Um, so I buy those little spatula thingies to the little spoons. To get everything out. Um, the next one is the Yes to Coconuts Ultra Hydrating Paper Mask. Again, same thing with the paper mask, but I did love this one. I could tell a difference, and this is like my second time using one of these, and it's only like two dollars, so definitely would repurchase another one of those once I get through all of my ones that I have now. <laughs> Um, I finished up some wallflowers. This is a two-pack of the Island Colada. I don't know where the second one is. I think it got really gross or something. Because this one is yellow, sometimes the, the liquid inside can get really nasty. So I think I'm pretty sure I threw it away. Um, but this was a really good neutral scent for downstairs. And it filled up the whole room. And it made everything smell really, really good. Even if we didn't have a candle going. So, um... Definitely would repurchase that. It was a nice neutral scent that wasn't too overwhelming. I finished a clicky. I always finish these. This is just the big clicky. But I have a different clicky now and I like it better because it's refillable. I don't think I will be using those type for a while. But anyways, so um, I finished up a NYX matte finish setting spray. Um, I liked this. I liked how it gave me a nice even mist on my face. It was really, really good. Um, it didn't burn my face. It didn't break me out anything. So um, I would definitely repurchase this. I liked it a lot. I am throwing out this Ulta Glitter Polish. Um, I've had this for a really, really long time. And I think it's done. As you can tell, like, it's all gross in there and I've used it a lot. I'm not too worried about it. It was only a couple dollars. I was going packing all my nail polishes the other day and I saw this and it was really nasty. So getting rid of that. I have another wallflower bulb. This one is in um, Eucalyptus Rain. I really liked this scent. Again, it was a little bit of a stronger scent. So it was really nice for downstairs where it's super, super open. Um, I don't recommend putting this in a small space. It might turn into a scent that might give you a headache, so be careful of that, but definitely did like that. Um, I'm not sure if I would repurchase it, though, just because if I'm in a smaller space, I don't think I would use it. Um, this is the Bath & Body Works Island White Pineapple Hand Cream. I loved this. I took this everywhere I went with me. It takes me forever to use up hand creams because when I have a bunch of them, but when I find one that I really, really like, I use it all the way through. So, um, yeah, this took me a really, really long time, but you could tell that I used every drop of it. I loved it. It made me feel like I was on an island every time. Um, this is a sample of the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Loved this stuff. I definitely think that it was better than the NYX, but this is like way, way, way more expensive. So, um, not too sure if I'm going to be getting a full size anytime soon, 
but I will keep you updated. I do love that. And I've gone through many samples of it, so I should just buy the full size, but I'm being a baby. Speaking of that, I'm also being a baby with this. I've had many samples of this. This is the Laneige um, Water Sleeping Mask. This is amazing, you guys. I put this on right before I go to sleep, and it does miracles when I am sleeping. I swear to you. Better than any night cream or any other thing. I honestly think that this does a better job than my Glam Glow um, Thirsteen. Mm. I don't know what it's called. The blue one that does the moisturizing does better than that, I feel like. So I need to just bite the bullet and buy this, but it's like $50. I'm going to go through my night cream that I have now and then possibly buy that. But I love that. Um, the next thing, this is by Air Repair. And this is a sample of their complexion boosting moisturizer. Love this. Again, this took me a really long time to use too, so it was okay. I used it a long time ago, so I don't really remember, but it's a moisturizer. It can only do so much. Um, this is by the Coet's Face um, Mineral Skin Tone BB Cream. Um, this has SPF in it. And so it is too, um, I've had it for way too long, I know that. And then also, the color, the shade that I got sent is way too dark for me. I wore it like twice and every time my friends were looking at me kind of weird, like, what's on your face? You look really weird. That doesn't match your skin tone. Okay, so this is still pretty much full because, you know, ghost problems over here. Um, I have a sample of the Clarins Hydra Essential Moisturizer. Loved this, but again, it's a super small sample, so wasn't really able to tell that much of a difference, but for the time being, it did its job. Um, I have a little baby sample of a deodorant. This is the Secret Outlast Clear Gel deodorant. It was really good. I got it in a box, so I thought I would use it. It was really, really good. I've been trying my natural, more natural deodorants, but they don't do as much as I would like. And I tried this one and it was helping me a lot more. So I think I need to go back to something like that more versus the natural way, sadly. But yeah, um, this is the Marcel Hydra C 24 hour hydrating gel. This was amazing. I could definitely tell a difference with this. I definitely would get a full size of this. It was so good, so good. And that sample also lasted me a really long time. Um, this is a sample of the Benefit Their Real Mascara. I would get a full size of this, but I already do have a full size, so I'll tell you when I'm done with the full size if I would get another full size. Really, really like that. Yeah, the N Spa. Uh, exotically creamy coconut rich body butter. This came in a box, I think a Walmart beauty box, a lot like last summer. And I finally used it up. It was amazing. Again, um, during the colder months up here, I wanted to use a body butter because my skin is already dry on a normal day, so it needs a lot of moisture. This was amazing. Um, I don't think I like it as much as my Bath and Body Works or other body butters that I've tried, but if you want a cheaper alternative, you can get this at Walmart, so it was pretty good for the price. It was pretty good. I can't complain. A little lip smacker. This was one of the Tsum Tsum ones that I bought. This is the Tigger one, if you don't know. Um, Lip Smackers came out with, I'm just dropping everything today, okay. Um, if you don't know, Lip Smackers came out with a line of lip balms with Tsum Tsums. Um, I bought, like, pretty much all of them. Um, and they're all different flavors, and I used up Tigger first. 
I wanted to keep using it, but it was like scraping on my lips. So I was like, okay, we're done. So yeah, I really liked this. I definitely would get another one. And I'm going to just wipe this off and then put it with the rest of them just because it's so cute. I don't want to throw it away. Definitely love that. Okay, the next thing is a sample of the Orbe Gold Lush Dry Shampoo. This was good. I think it's worth the price though that everybody pays for it. It's kind of ridiculous. I might think about getting it. Actually, I won't think about getting it because again, it's ridiculous. This is the Avene Hydrate, the Avene Hydrance Booster Moisturizer. Liked this, but again, like I've been saying, it's a sample. There's only so much it can do. And then this was the La Rouge Posse Tolerane Hydrating Foaming Wash. This was a cleanser. It was really, really nice. It didn't dry out my skin. My skin did feel a little bit dry right when I finished washing my face, but it always feels like that. Um, because I just took off, like, all the, everything off my face. So, um, it made me feel like any other face wash did, to be honest. Next, we have a set. Um, these make my heart and my wallet very sad that they're gone. Because if I want to repurchase these, they're very expensive. I bought these on Holt Look, and even then, it was, like, crazy. So these are by Talika and this is the Photo Hydra Day and Photo Hydra Night creams and I had a sample of these a really long time ago in my birch box and I was obsessed with how much that this um, moisturized my skin. I was super impressed by it so I was gonna buy the full size just straight up. They're like $70, I think, around there, um, each. And then they went on a whole look, and I think they went down to like 45 So with both of them, I spent $90, and they did last me for a long time, so I'm happy about that, but it makes me very sad to see them go. These are amazing. I definitely, definitely, definitely recommend these. Um, try to get them on whole look. And lastly, before candles, we have Bath and Butterworks soaps. Um, this is the only one that I have in my hand because we, my roommates and I were cleaning and they decided to throw things away. Anyways, long story short, things accidentally got thrown away. So, I have this one in leaves. This is amazing. It's a staple. It's a classic. Everybody knows about this. It's amazing. Definitely will be repurchasing this and I loved it because I had the candle going while this was going so it was really cool um and then also we finished a crisp morning air which was amazing I repurchased that from last year and then also um vampire blood was downstairs in the kitchen so lastly I have some candles this is a mini candle that my mom sent me I don't know how she or why she got it but this doesn't really give out any scent it just creates a cute little light and if you're standing like this close to it you can smell it but it was nice um this was in caramel pumpkin swirl which i'm kind of happy that it was a small because i'm not a pumpkin fan one that is not bath and body works i actually got this from one of my students for christmas and then i finally burnt it this is the christmas tree candle um, I'm not sure who it's from. I don't know, but it's a soy blend candle, and it's super cute. It's in this little mason jar, and it was just a Christmas tree scent, and it made me super, super happy, so I loved it. And the burn was amazing. It burnt all the way down to the bottom, so super, super cute. Okay, and I have five Bath & Body Works candles. Um, nothing like nine like last time, but for month and a half, I'd say I'm pretty happy about it. So the first one is Fresh Sparkling Snow. This is very musky. Um, I don't know if I would buy this again, honestly, in as far as a candle. Body care, yes, probably, but this, I'm not sure. Yeah, I just, it didn't throw very well. And as you can see, it was very sooty, which added to the ambience of 
it, but like, ew. Um, so I liked the color of it and it burnt all the way down, which was nice. But yeah, like I said, it wasn't a very strong throw, so don't think I would buy it again. I did love the smell though. So if you love musky smell, uh, if you like musky scents, then you'll like that. Um, and then I finished Holiday Sparkle. Um, again, this had a hint of musk in it as well. That's a trend with my candles. I'm obsessed with musky scents. Um, but this was a really, really good, again, neutral when it was in a big space. This one threw very far, but like almost too far. Um, I had it downstairs in the big area and it was almost too overwhelming sometimes, so I had to turn it off. I definitely would buy this again if it came out again. I really liked it, but again, big space. Definitely not like your bedroom or anything. Um, a staple um, every year since I've been buying candles. This is Winter Candy Apple. Love this. One of my favorites. Definitely, definitely, definitely will be repurchasing this again. Like I said in the last empties video, I'm obsessed with everything Apple, so this was definitely calling my name. And they bring it back every year, so makes me very happy. And then I have a Frosted Cranberry. Again, it's a fruity scent. It was amazing. Um, the throw wasn't as good as I was expecting from this. It was definitely enough to where I had it in my room and I loved it, so... I definitely would repurchase this. I think I bought one last year too, but it was at my parents' house, so I don't really remember. Definitely would repurchase that. And lastly, we have Sweater Weather. Now this is a musky scent of any musky scents in this collection. Um, this is like leaves on, like another version of leaves pretty much for everyone. This again is a staple. I love this. I love it because you can burn it pretty much whenever and it's going to be good. Um, it doesn't matter what season it is, so definitely will repurchase this in the upcoming fall season. Love, 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 love. Definitely would recommend it, especially if you have a man in your life. Definitely get this one. So yeah, guys, that's everything for my empties video today. Um... Yeah, for a month and a half, I think I used up a lot, but that's my goal. I have so much, and I know that next month is going to be filled with a lot of makeup, so get excited for that because I'm really, really close to finishing a lot of things. So let me know what you've used up lately, and yeah, I hope you guys are having an amazing, amazing day, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye, guys!